This is Mary. Mary is your typical undergraduate student at UCSD. This is Academic Computing and Media Services, or ACMS. Today, we are going to show you the many ways ACMS impacts and improves Mary's life throughout her four years as a student at UCSD. Even before arriving at UCSD as a new freshman student, Mary uses her ACMS email account that she accesses through ACS webmail to check for notices from the registrar and financial aid. During move-in, Mary purchases a new laptop based on recommendations from ACMS ResNet, and a ResNet technician helps Mary connect to the internet and connect her cable TV. Mary turns on the UCSD TV channel, which is supported by ACMS engineers. Mary wants to know what to expect from her classes, so she uses courses.ucsd.edu built by ACMS to see if her instructors have posted syllabi, book list, or library reserves. Mary attends her first lecture as a college freshman. For the next four years that Mary is a student, ACMS will be behind the scenes installing, maintaining, and upgrading equipment in her lecture halls and classrooms. Throughout the year, Mary stores and saves her homework files on her ACMS-provided computer account. At the end of spring quarter, Mary takes her final exam of her freshman year. She passes with flying colors. Sophomore year, Mary has some problems connecting her computer to the ACMS ResNet internet, so she calls the ACMS help desk and they walk her through the process. This year, Mary has a lot of classes that use sophisticated software that she can't afford to purchase herself. Fortunately, the software programs are available in 130 ACMS computer labs throughout campus. She uses a lab near her dorm. One evening, in a rush to meet her brother who is visiting, Mary drops and damages her laptop. Fortunately, she takes it to ACMS computer repair and installation, and they fix it. After picking it up, Mary stops by the ACMS help desk where one of the technicians answers a question about how to submit a homework assignment using WebCT, supported by ACMS. Near the end of spring quarter, Mary is shocked to receive a copyright violation for file sharing and learn that she must attend a copyright violation presentation given by ACMS. Her younger brother mentioned he was installing some software on her computer after she let him use it when he visited. She didn't realize it was file sharing software. Mary attends the presentation. She finds it very informative. ACMS removes the software and deletes a number of viruses from her computer. She'll be sure to tell her brother everything she learned about file sharing over summer vacation. Mary has a hectic schedule junior year. She decides to enroll in a media production class. Her class is divided into small groups that will shoot a video PSA, public service announcement. Mary has a great idea. Her group could make a PSA about file sharing. After all, she knows all about it. Mary's group shoots and edits their video using AV equipment from the ACMS Media Lab. The PSA is a big hit. It features a devious little gnome who downloads copyrighted materials and gets everyone in big trouble. In another one of Mary's classes, the professor is using a technology called iClicker to poll students. Mary's professor gets help integrating iClicker into her class from ACMS. Mary enjoys using the clicker because she feels it keeps her and the other students engaged. Midterms come quickly. Mary uses an ACMS-supported video podcast of her class downloaded from podcast.ucsd.edu to review for a test. The video podcast really help her review the class concepts. One night, Mary is so focused on studying she doesn't realize the time until she looks at an ACMS-supported digital sign in the library. Fortunately, Mary set up an ACMS account for low-cost printing so she can use an ACMS laser printer to produce a sharp-looking term paper at midnight. Senior year, Mary is elected president of her student organization. She uses free student software from ACMS software distribution to build an awesome web page for the group. Mary does a 199 with a research group which sets up an ACMS Recharge Plotter account to print conference posters. The posters look great and get the attention of prospective employers. 
Mary is relieved to learn she doesn't have to be placed on the wait list for her biology class because the class is being offered in the Peterson Hall overflow rooms designed by ACMS. In between classes, Mary watches an ACMS live stream of the UC Women's Conference. She finds it very inspiring. Mary is very interested in finding a job in social media, so she attends a distance learning class supported by ACMS, taught by an expert from UCSB. Later, on a drive to the mall, Mary hears an NPR interview streamed from ACMS with one of her UCSD professors. Mary decides to ask that professor for a letter of recommendation to a graduate school in England. As a result of the letter, written with ACMS supplied software, the graduate school pays for Mary to be interviewed over video conference in the ACMS Distance Learning Center. Mary is accepted to graduate school in England. Yay, Mary! Your parents will miss you, and so will we. And these are just a few of the ways ACMS impacts and improves Mary's life throughout her four years as a student at UCSD.